And he hasn't seen us yet. Bernioff, watch the door. I lost. Nothing's get by me. Yeah, okay. Down that ledge. See if you can... Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? Oh no. When Brynjolf brought you before me, I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. And at that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. What's Carlia been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor? Oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises? Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. <laughs> I'm here for the eyes. Wait a moment. Do I detect a hint of genuine avarice from this noble thief? Perhaps Carlia and Brynjolf misjudged you and your true nature is no different than my own. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale blood. Carlia, I'll deal with you after I rid myself of your irksome companions. In the meantime, perhaps you and Fridjol should get better acquainted. All right. What the? They're both fighting? Where are they? That's funny. That's it? Give me your shit. Holy shit. Whoa! <laughs> uh... Jeez. This guy has some nice equipment. Extreme healing. Extreme healing! Alright, belted tunic. Alright, let me go drop something. Well, that was, um, easy. I have water breathing, so I, I'm set for life. Uh, you guys can go fuck yourselves. They're cool filmers. Oh look, it's actually filling up with water. I don't think there's really any... You know, technically if it fills with water... Well, time to put on water breathing. No, no, this one. Oh, and that one. Aha! Unlimited breathing underwater. <laughs> hey, you got nothing else I want. Actually, uh, actually, this could be a bad thing. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. No, oh, I need breathing underwater. If I'm to survive. No, nope. uh, can't go into there like I thought. This could be bad. This place is coming down. Let's get out of here. Oh, cool. That was convenient. Oh, I'm all done. I mean, my, my only ally there was someone I can just respawn. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. <laughs> oh, there he is. Couldn't even tell. Sorry, lad. I've got important right. things to do. We'll speak I can't believe time. it's over. 
25 years in exile and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. Nightingale bow. Alright. She's the mistress of night and yeah. darkness. May the gods watch the over your back. Every Do thief in town. Uh, just kidding. Uh, just kidding. Let me give him some of these. Uh, let's see. Dwarven sword, elven dagger. Where's that nightingale bow? Ooh. Let's just give him all this. Apparel. Let's see. Branded iron shield. No. Uh. Ah, just kidding. I think, I think that's basically everything. In case he doesn't go with me, then at least he's carrying this shit around for me. That's that's kind of how I figure it. That's pretty much it. Oh, wait, I can go over here. Go here. Uh, you can have a puzzle cube, sure. Oh, quest item. Oh, it's a quest item too. Uh, I I can't really get rid of any any, you know, <laughs> any any more of these stone of thing. Actually, can't get these. No. Whatever. We're good. Lead on then. All right, where are we going to? Yes, follow nice. Well. Enter this this twilight sphincter. Let's do, let's go do that. Sorry, lad. <laughs> did I did I just take like, damage for running over something? The thing is, that I don't think I can do. I don't think I can do sneak fireball attack. Where's my horse? Because I'll find out. Uh, where are you, you goddamn thing in the map? Oh wow, there's the Twilight Sphincter. It's right over here. I I know the Twilight Sph Sphincter. I don't know if I really want to start this now. I kind of want to finish the guild. But on the other hand, uh, I, I did say I was going to level up Conjuration to the max. Oh god, the trees are still missing, missing their textures for some reason. Alright. Hopefully that guy's not dead. When I get there, I'll just do things. Well, okay, I don't know how I jumped over that. So I got about 15 minutes. Uh, oh, run over bunny. No. Yeah, maybe I'll do. I'll just keep going, and then the next part, I'll just um, I'll cut it up, and then I'll resume it. So like tomorrow, you'll see. What the hell is this? How do we get up there? All right. Um. I'm guessing someone's trying to run after me. I really wish they would fix these tree textures because it's not the mods. I can tell you that now. Because these are missing, I'm pretty sure. It, it, it happens. The game starts derping basically after after it's been running for a little while. It's really stupid. Hey guys. Uh, run away. We're almost there. Jeez. Okay, got the Twilight Sphincter. Hey, 
Hey, buddy. Where's my horse? Okay, I guess you're okay. I waited just so he would catch up and they would possibly go away, since it wasn't combat. I was hoping it wouldn't be combat. Alright, Twilight Sphincter. Tell me your secrets. Uh, well, it's a good thing I gave him that stuff, then. Oh. Okay. Just in case. Oh, wait, no. Wrong, wrong ability. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I'm the Dragonborn. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Were I able to provide it, I'd shower you in wealth for what you've done. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. The Sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Evermere, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Evermere and replacing the key. Alright. Good luck, Nightingale. Follow the thing above. Let's do this. Huh. Well, nothing to do but open a bunch of doors. What? Then <laughs> Gale Sentinel. Uh, I'm gonna get hit by one arrow and then die. Cool. Okay, go. Kill the other person. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be. This is gonna just be a lot of one-hit kills. Uh it's gonna be fucking terrible. Uh, snipe me with a bow. Longer than that, man. Oh, I could kill them really easily, though. I didn't even realize that. Fuck. 
One hit kills. Yeah. Come on. Oh god. Damn it. Wrong ability. <laughs> A challenger. Okay, cool. Cool. It's dead. Anything else here? So it's basically the same as the um, the thing guild, the uh, the one the the champions because I'm just all I'm doing is spending my time killing a bunch of dead people. They died once and then they die again. Oh wait, ghostly remains. Oh, more ghostly remains. Elven arrow. Hey, cool. Alchemy lab. A book. Which doesn't do anything. Salt pile. Silver. Ah, uh, that's, that's the way out. Yeah, it's gonna be a large labyrinth. I'm not, I'm... May just yeah I'll finish it but I'll cut I'm gonna have to cut it up somewhere in the middle it's fucking annoying the armor would not will not do shit just trust me I'm gonna do it anyways but I'm telling you it's not gonna do a thing actually do I have weaken on no mark for death Oh, I fucking marked the wrong person for death. Actually, they're both marked for death. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I like that guy so much. That's why I want to level up Conjuration. Oh wait. It's, when I get down here, it's like sapping my my dispenser. Okay. I I tried to fucking use it, and it it just like accelerated for some damn reason. Uh. Alright. Shoot, what's over here? What the fuck? I, I don't quite understand what's going on. Oh, I see. It's some kind of test. When I'm hidden, I'm fine. You're supposed to stay in the shadows. Is it like a thieves, thieves kind of uh, a mini, mini test? I don't think he really likes me anymore. I think he wants to kill me. Can't blame him though. No, we loved you. Hey, yeah, stay in the shadows. Well, that was pretty easy, I guess. Once I figured it out, thought I was just supposed to run through it. Uh, 
Uh, ooh, glass gauntlets. That's nice. I'm sure my my pack bill will appreciate that. Uh, are we at the end here? Cool. Take your shit. I don't know if I should take this. Oh, I did anyways. Bitch. <laughs> uh, where do you put the skeleton key? Maybe I should actually have the quest open. No, follow the pil pilgrim's path. Well, there's something up here. So maybe lighting the candles might do something. Seems a little odd. Huh. No. I'm guessing there's a switch somewhere. Hope it's something like Indiana Jones style where it's like you have to put shit on, on top kind of thing. Like it'd be like thieves related. Ah. Uh, I I don't know the answer to this one. I'll just try setting everything on fire. I don't know. Let me put on candlelight. Maybe that will help. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, wait here. There we go. That was, um... Hidden. Usually... Usually I'm not that observant. Uh... Master lock. Ooh, wait, what? It's a master key. I can just do it as much as I want. It's easy mode. There we go. I hope I keep this. But it, it, it made it useless in the other game. That's funny. And technically, if you never complete this quest, do the, do you get to keep it? <sighs> yeah, target me. Laugh it up. Uh, in this part. A challenger appears. It's over here. There's the inner sphinctum. Sphinctum? <laughs> Alright, do I have... What do I have as my special ability? Mark for death. Excellent. Come on. Oh god. Oh god, no. No. No, stay whack. Okay. Most excellent. You did it. I I had nothing to do with this victory. It's all him. And now my restoration got up to six. Oh, that's right, because of that shit. Whatever. Uh, nothing. Ooh. A rune book. It's like Fallout. You find rune books everywhere. Proper lock design. Nice. Hey, I leveled. Uh, what? I think I was gonna do alter. Yeah, alteration. It's totally pointless to do anything in that other tree. 
greater duration or half the magicka. I'd rather do half the greater duration. So I can just go now. I can I can do candlelight. And let's just ch check how long it's now. Wow, it's uh, three minutes. So it does it for fifty percent longer. No, not that great. Whatever. How many levels do I have left? I'm at 37, so about 13. Yeah, that's, that's that's okay. I've done most of what I wanted to do. I think the only thing next is just uh, enchant enchanting and conjuration and just finishing up alteration, and that's it. And if I have any left, I'll do that armor stuff. The illusion was a waste, though. I shouldn't have done that. Because I could have put that into that alteration armor stuff. But, you know, that's the last one I'm going to upgrade, because Conjuration is probably one of my best skills. Okay, the Sphincter inner Sphincter. I like that word. Uh, you know, I think we're near the end, so maybe I'll be able to fit this in. I don't know. I should probably hurry it up. Or we're going to have really long parts. That depends. Trapped. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Uh, let's let's go read a little message. Uh, I can't believe I came all this way. I so just didn't appear. I memorized the clues after. Oh. Interesting. Ah. Hey. Sup, Hobie? My mom. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected, and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Oh. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Monsieur. See you That's a rebuff. How'd you get in here? Uh... Hi. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of shadow, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. 
Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. All right. The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the nightingale for a limited time. The agent of stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. This agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. I don't know. Subterfuge may be good. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. I, I saved it though. Did I do it? Gallus. So what does that even do? Oh. What? That's fucking dumb. I don't want to do that. What's this one? Subterfuge. And that one, where, what's my ability? I, I would prefer something that's passive, but whatever. This one sounds good. So that sounds like the kind of one where, you know, if there's a lot of people, I'd want to use that. What's this one? Darkness Returns. Uh, uh, I don't really need to absorb health though, so I think I'll take the one that manipulates people. Alright. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, oh, well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlisle. Okay. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? Activate portal to entrance. Uh, hopefully that's it. Because... These have been some really long parts, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, so now you don't even go through the thing anymore. Are we done? Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll go see what's up with the, the Thieves Guild actually um, next time, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grind Conjuration to uh, <laughs> 100 at the very least. Maybe, maybe alteration as well. I don't know. I'll see, it's they're really fucking easy to grind, so you don't really need to see it on screen. It's super easy. Anyways, I'm done. Got to sell a lot of stuff. Got to have cereal. Yeah. Bye.